welcome to online learning students in the last class we have learned about symmetrical figures asymmetrical figures and line of symmetry today we will be learning about transformation is a process which changes the position shape or viewing angle of any shape suppose you can see here a rectangular box is changing its position from a to b if i give you a yellow square box and here we can see that the shape is changed into a triangle again if i give you a pink square box and if we change the viewing angle it will look somewhat like this thus we have seen here that the position is being changed in first figure shape is being changed in the second figure and viewing angle is changed in the third figure thus we have seen here the transformation now we will be learning the first transformation that is reflection reflection is also a type of transformation where the transformed image is flipped over the line of reflection we can see here an image is given and this image is reflected over the line of reflection and the reflected image also we can see here thus reflections are the mirror image or the water image as seen across the line or a point if i ask you to stand in front of a mirror whatever image you will see in the mirror that is the reflect reflected image as you can see in the mirror your right appears to be your left and left appears to be your right thus reflection can also be defined as a type of transformation where transformed image is flipped over the line of reflection here are some of the examples of reflection if i give you this uh, figure and ask you to draw the reflected image how you will draw it will be like this if i give you another figure and ask you to draw the reflected image along this line of reflection how it will be the flipped image or the reflected image will be like this another figure if i give you a triangle and i give you the line of reflection a horizontal line and ask you to draw the reflected image how it will be yes it will be like this and the fourth one again if i give you the horizontal line of reflection how the reflected image will be formed yes like this now some more examples of reflection you can see here the butterfly the image and the reflected image the rose is reflecting on the water and we can see the reflected image over the line of reflection here again the vertical line of reflection is given and the image and the reflected image can be seen a letter e if you see here if you keep the letter e in front of the mirror how it will look yes it will look like shown here in the figure 
Another example is given here. Thus, I hope you understand what are reflection. Now we'll go to rotation. Rotation is another type of transformation. Rotation means turning the figure clockwise or anti-clockwise direction but does not change the figure that is shape and size of the figure are not changed only the figure is turned across clockwise or anti-clockwise direction I'll explain you what are clockwise and anti-clockwise directions first if I give you two axes and I give you a figure here and I ask you to rotate this figure clockwise direction that means rotating the figure from left to right this is clockwise clockwise direction and rotate rotation of figure from right to left that is anti-clockwise direction so here I am giving an example of clockwise rotation. First if I give you a figure like this and ask you to rotate it 90 degree clockwise. How it will look? Yes, it will look like this. And again if I ask you to rotate this same figure in 180 degree clockwise direction it will look like this again if I ask you to rotate the figure 270 degree clockwise direction it will look like this and again the 360 degree rotation clockwise direction the figure will attain its first position thus we can see a complete angle is of 360 degree and here we have rotated the figure in clockwise direction um, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree and 360 degree. So here uh, is the concept of rotate. As I said clockwise rotation is turning the figure from left to right. Anticlockwise rotation is turning the figure right to left. I will give you the examples on the next slide. First of all, we will see how many types of rotation we will learn here in this chapter. First is quarter turn. Quarter means one fourth. As I told you that the complete angle is of 360 degree. And quarter turn means one fourth of the complete angle that is one fourth of 360 degree you'll get 90 degree so quarter turn means 90 degree turn rotating the figure 90 degree next is half turn half turn means the complete angle is divided into two halves that is 360 divided by 2 you will get 180 degree thus half turn means 180 degree rotation now one third turn one third means one third of 360 degree the complete angle is 360 degree and one third of 360 degree you will get 120 degree thus one third turn means 120 degree rotation and one sixth turn means one sixth part of 360 degree you will get 60 degree thus one sixth turn means 60 degree now here are some example of clockwise rotation. 
first of all i give you a figure like this and ask you to rotate the figure into 60 degree how it will look like yes the figure will look like this again we rotate the figure into 90 degree it will look like this again if we rotate the figure 120 degree it will look like this again rotating the figure 180 degree it will look like this you can see here that 180 degree the figure will be inverted just it will look inverted if I rotate the figure 270 degree it will look like this and if I ask you to rotate the figure 360 degree the figure will attain its initial position that means the first position and shape what it was it will attain the same thus we see here the clockwise direction clockwise rotation from this cycle another example if I give you of anti-clockwise rotation is rotating the figure by 60 degree it will look like this rotating the figure by 90 degree it will look like this rotating the figure by 120 degree it will be rotated in this manner and again rotating the figure by 180 degree it will look like this and again rotating the figure by 270 degree it will look like this and at last rotating the figure by 360 degree again the figure will attain it its first position thus from this cycle we can see the anti-clockwise rotation you can see here we are rotating the figure from right to left which is anti-clockwise rotation now if I give you this figure and ask you to rotate the figure quarter turn clockwise that is one fourth turn clockwise direction it will look like this second triangle if I give you and ask you to turn half clockwise direction it will be inverted and look like this third figure if I give you and ask you to rotate it in one sixth turn clockwise direction it will look like this and again if I give you a fourth figure and ask you to turn one sixth turn clockwise it will be looking like this thus these are the example of rotation of clockwise direction and similarly we can uh, do for anti-clockwise direction so I feel that rotation and reflection the two concepts are clear to you all so what we learn today is reflection that is just the mirror image or the water image or the flipped image over the line of reflection and what is rotation rotation is nothing but just a, when a figure is turned in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction without changing its shape or size okay so uh, here is a home task for you all to solve question number 3, 4, 5 and 6 of my practice time 1 of this chapter. Rest of the part will be dealing in class. Thank you.